There we go. Hey guys, I just got the ultimate Infinity War Hero Vision toy. It's the Hulkbuster Ultimate Figure HQ and this thing is huge. Like it totally exceeds my workspace, which is hopefully not going to be a problem. Now I'm kind of regretting getting this because it's so big and it's not even fully extended yet. But, oh well, hopefully this review goes well. Starting with the front, we get an awesome fully deployed Hulkbuster glam shot. And on one side, we get a bunch of pictures showing all the cool stuff you can do with it. And the other side shows them in Hulkbuster mode and fully deployed mode. Here's the top, here's the back with the sideways view of the fully deployed Hulkbuster. And here's the bottom with the other figures and the UPC. And there he is guys, out of the box. And man, he is huge! Now he comes with a bag of accessories, a sticker pack, and an instruction manual showing where the stickers go and how to transform him. Now putting stickers on is boring so I'm just going to slap those on real quick but I will show you how to put the parts on in the close ups. Quick word of warning, the stickers are extremely sticky and once they touch the plastic they do not want to come off so make sure it's lined up before you actually touch the plastic. Alright, close up time. Starting with the upper body we get the usual mechanical detailing and sculpting and it looks pretty cool. The proportions are a little off but hey, I really like the face. And the mid body continues that detailing as well and you can see his cool hands and the thighs there with some more details. And then you get to the feet that has a lot of detail but as you can see there's holes there that's because that's where the feet plug into. Now the manual and the feet don't actually tell you which one goes on which side but if you look at the curve you can kind of figure it out and it does have numbers on it so number one goes on the right side and number two goes on the left side now moving on to the right side it's got a big old kind of boring flat arm that hole there is for the zip line and the leg has some more cool sculpting as well and moving on to the left side it looks just like the right side both upper and lower except this one has a little slot to add the claw piece here it's spring loaded and has some pretty decent details on it as well and on to the back, you get some more sculpting, it's more hollow, but you start seeing the pieces that will pop out to turn into the playset. And moving into the bottom part, the secret starts to get revealed. You can see that it's not actually enclosed, it just kind of flips around, I'll show you that in the transformation. But you can see this little hole here, and that's to attach this little stabilizer piece. And you just snap it in place, just like the feet. Alright, now let's go and transform this bad boy. You start by flipping him around, and then twisting him at the waist so that his face comes back to the front. Raise his arms. Pull out the little arm thingies on both arms. And then you flip up the yeah, head. Yeah, Mark Ruffalo! Ah! That dude is everywhere. Make sure he's... Okay, he's gone. And then it comes with this random little piece here, which is just the Avengers logo, and it just sticks in right there, just like that. It's kind of crooked because the sticker issue. Yeah. Swing out the chest, drop the ladder, and the platform, and then swing out the leg pieces. And there he is guys, all transformed. Whew, he's even bigger. He's actually 33 inches tall, fully extended. That's just, my background can't even go that high. But anyways, he comes with this little can in here, which is pretty cool, nicely detailed. It's a little spring loaded. Uh -oh. And to install it, all you do is just rotate the hand down, spin it around. You can see a little hole right here. And also there's a little peg here that the figure will hold into. But anyways, you put that there. Dang it, try that again. Okay, we'll put that there. Don't put your hand on the trigger. And then there you go, and it rotates in a full 360 degree. Ah! And then you can grab whatever fig you want, and they all have peg holes, which is great, because now I know why they have it. So you can stick them up here, and he actually holds his balance, so he doesn't fall off, which is pretty cool. So now you have Dr. Strange manning the cannon. And then you have this targeting rectangle here, which you just raise out of the way, push that out. And you can stick in any figure you want. Just kind of strap them in there, just like so, with the little targeting thing. Flip this up for his little monitor screen and then there you go. Then you have this piece here which can also hold another figure. We'll go and put Iron Spider in there. It just locks into place. It's actually really big because it can actually fit the Hulk. Like, wait, why not use the Hulk? There we go. He fits right in there. As you can see, it's perfectly strapped. You can bring this up here and it makes no sense because he's not smart enough to do the panel. But hey, then you can use this thing like a claw to catch a spider. Hey, look at that. Man, this thing is just so big. And moving on to the chest here. Now it comes with this little infinity gauntlet piece, which is pretty cool. It also has this ladder here, which I guess you could climb the ladder to get the gauntlet. But what's weird is it comes with a time stone, which is weird. It's like, it's supposed to be the mind stone. So we can fix that, just pull it out. It did come with a mind stone sticker, which is weird. And then we'll just put the correct stone in there. And voila, now it's correct. And if you want, you can store the other stones right up here. Just throw in a power stone just for the fun of it. Oh, that don't fit. That don't. Oh, power stone don't fit. Power stone don't fit, guys. Um, space stone? Maybe, maybe space stone? Wow. Okay. Oh, there we go. Space stone fit. Yeah. And now you can have somebody climb up to get the stones. 
or fall. And then it comes with this little containment center here, which you can flip that out and you supposedly contain somebody. Now the box shows it contained the Hulk as he clearly fits in there, which is quite impressive. But honestly, I think it makes more sense to contain a bad guy, such as the Marvel Legends Proxima Midnight, if, oh, she's kind of big. Wait, I think I can contort her in there and just, can't. There we go. Yep, she took. Come on, just get her in there somehow. And... Ha! There we go. Proxima Midnight contained. Or actually, better yet, get her out of here. Let's put Star Lord in there. That way, he can't mess up the plan, right? So now there will only be an Infinity War Part One. I kind of want a Part Two. Well, we'll just go ahead and let him out there. Oh, there's a little peg here too. You can put their little leg on the peg there so they can stand there just like that. And I, I guess we'll let Star Lord go free because, you know, I kind of want an Infinity War Part 2. Well, there goes that plan. And then you get this little platform thingy here, which is just, I don't, this thing spins, so that's cool. I'm not sure what this is really. There is a peg though where you can put a figure so they don't fall. Just like that. There we go. Gamora's on the thing and it's spinning in the background. It's just. I, I don't know what this is, guys. And moving on down, we get the command center. You get this cool little computer room here, which is full of a bunch of screens, which were actually stickers that were a pain to put on. If I weren't such a perfectionist, it probably wouldn't have been as bad. And then you can just stick figures in there, like like this Iron Spider, right? Ooh, that's a Marvel Legends one. Gotta put the, the, oh wait, gotta get him. Okay, there we go. Gotta put the Hero Vision one in there. Then you can put Mr. Iron Man in there too, just like that. So Spidey and Iron are just, you know, doing stuff on the computer, surfing the web or something, yeah. And it comes with this little launcher right here, which launches this little disc here, which looks more like the little disc thing from the end battle of Infinity War, you know, in Wakanda. But anyways, you just put it in here. There's no springs or anything at all. And it's just tension from this little clip thing, and then you just hit the... Ooh. My bad. Now it also comes with this awesome zip line here. Now one side attaches to the upper arm up here, and the other end to this bottom piece right here. And then you have the handle right here. There's a back side to it, so make sure this side faces forward. And you simply attach it just like so. And there you go. It's a handle. Now you can actually adjust the tension of this as well by just flipping this out. You can make it really tight, just flipping out that way to change the angle. See how it's looser now? Go that way and it gets tighter. And you just, you know, you can change the angle wherever you want, and this thing actually has pretty good tension, so it'll actually hold a figure just like right here. And here's Thor as an example. There we go, see? Look, he's just suspending. Oh, and as a side note, that's probably why all these figures have open hands, even though they don't come with accessories to put in that hand, so that they can ride the zip line. Uh, I... I think they need to work on their landing. Now for a cool little tidbit that the manual doesn't show you, you can actually store the cannon and the disc in the containment area right up here. And as for this zip line, I was wondering what this little hook here was for. And then I noticed there's these two little dots down here. And that's because that goes there. This wraps around here, just like so. And then this one goes in there and voila, that's how you put away the zip line, I think. If not, then it is now. All right, and now for some comparisons. Here he is next to the Shrink and Strike Ant-Man, some Hero Vision figures, some Marvel Legend figures, the Black Panther Blu-ray, a paper towel roll, an Xbox controller, and finally, the Marvel Legends Infinity Gauntlet. Oops, sorry. Gotta get some room here. Sorry guys, oh, I'm just messing up. Well guys, this thing is ridiculously huge, especially fully extended, but that's actually a really cool feature if you don't have to worry about trying to review them in a tiny workspace. This would actually make a super sweet diorama display for all the Hero Vision figures, or even the Marvel Legend figures, saying you have room for it. Now I still haven't found Drax or War Machine, and I'm starting to think that it's going to be a Wave 3 thing, and I didn't think there was supposed to be a Wave 3, so I have no idea when I'm going to find them now. But I've read the comments, and some of you guys have suggested Jurassic World, Star Wars, and even Marvel Legend toys to review, so I'll look into that. Anyways guys, as always, thanks for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed this review and it wasn't too bad considering that it exceeded my workspace. But either way, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.